In this video, we'll explore Chennai's most dangerous street food creations, put together by some of the city's boldest vendors. But first, let's back up. Indian food is a roller coaster of flavors, where butter flows like a river, where spices ignite a culinary fireworks show. And when it comes to sweetness, oh. well, it's a treat that'll turn any taste buds into disciples. Today, we're diving into the daring dishes of Chennai, dishes that are as risky as they are delicious. From the bone-in curry that conquered Singapore's heart. It's a dish that you'll never forget and you keep going back to it. To the cheesiest, heart-stopping dish that, that redefines the term comfort food. It's called cheesy bang with overload cheese. Get ready for high-stakes thrillers of the culinary world right here in Chennai. Our journey begins at a stall in the heart of Chennai, serving up a local fiery noodle favorite. This stall's signature sauce is no joke. It's the Chuck Norris of condiments, ready to roundhouse kick your face with flavor. My red chilies, soy sauce, and an army of Sichuan peppers. Prepare to have your taste buds turned into firecrackers. After the Burmese military took charge in 1962, nearly 300,000 Burmese Indians decided to return to their roots here in Chennai. And boy, when they came, they brought back more than just memories. Among their gifts to the city was Otto, a dish that screams fusion in every colorful strand. This dish is an adaptation of a popular Burmese noodle salad, featuring a mix of shredded veggies, vibrant orange noodles, and a plethora of Indian spices, all amped up with Sichuan sauce. Start by placing a glorious mountain of shredded cabbage on the tawa. Sprinkle in some salt, red chili powder, and garam masala. Top it with sliced red onions and mix. Crack in around 10 to 15 chicken eggs. Then introduce those bright Burmese orange noodles. Scoop in a generous amount of Szechuan sauce and chopped fresh coriander. Then add the ghee and mix it well. Top with fresh coriander and a slice of fresh lime. Despite the salad's prominence in this dish, what you get is an explosion of flavors. Those crunchy noodles get cozy with the zesty shredded cabbage, while mingling with a bold mix of spices. The Sichuan sauce is, however, the real game changer. Its spicy kick creates a tantalizingly addictive taste that'll keep you reaching for more. Coming up next, We'll explore a staple in Singaporean cuisine that has intriguing Indian roots. It's a curry made from the most unexpected body part. No, it's not the ankles. No, it's not the elbows. I'm talking about the fish head. Yep. It looks like it has a little bit of glaucoma. Get ready for a dangerous, bone-filled food adventure. Pacifics is fish head curry is a delicacy. It's not even eaten by everyone. People who are enthusiastic and, and are passionate about seafood. The amount of fish stock and the broth and the flavor of the meat and the bones of the fish head is really unique and very, very delicious. So people keep enjoying it. Wow, that's amazing. So one of the key processes that means sati, what we do is we still cook all our curries in a sati, which is a clay pot, and that preserves the flavor. Secondly, our priority ingredient in our curries is tamarind, which, and hence, because of that, our fish curry is very unique and it holds together even after so many years. Curry, a megastar in South Indian cuisine, has earned its frequent flyer miles, jet-setting across the globe, from Japan's tonkatsu curry to the spicy Jamaican curry goat, and let's not forget the culinary legend that is Singaporean fish head curry. This mouth-watering delight wasn't just born anywhere, it was the brainchild of an Indian chef back in the 1940s. Here in Chennai, it's a beautiful mix of Chinese influence with a massive of fish head and vibrant spices from India. Drizzle some sesame oil into a pot and sizzle those mustard seeds, fenugreek and a secret stash of spices. Add a handful of fragrant curry leaves and a punch of fresh garlic. Then comes the red onions, turmeric powder and diced tomatoes. 
Now for the magic. A dash of rock salt and a pot of tangy tamarind water turns this into a flavorful stew. Now it's time for the entire fish head. And here, the more forehead, the better. Cook for 10 minutes and serve. Tasting this dish is a culinary adventure, a daring journey through a labyrinth of bones to uncover the sweet, succulent meat bathed in a robust, spicy curry. The rich and tangy broth, infused with aromatic spices, envelops the tender fish head into a full-blown symphony of flavors, where heat, zing, and savory goodness play in perfect harmony. Coming up next is a Chennai specialty that'll set your taste buds ablaze. It's a dosa seasoned with podi idli, a gunpowder seasoning made from the most fiery chilies in town. If you're up for a heat wave on your palate, this one is for you. Presenting Ghee Podi Dosa, a fiery twist on the classic dosa from southern India. This variant is generously coated with gunpowder spice, a blend of black gram, sesame seeds, and the spiciest dried chilies in the region. Spread the dosa batter in small circles across the tawa. Sprinkle a mix of diced onions and fresh coriander on top. Next, generously sprinkle the gunpowder spice over each mini dosa. Then a splash of ghee or clarified butter is added to each one for that perfect sizzle. Put them over and add another drizzle of ghee for that extra golden crispiness. Judge a book by its cover, especially when it comes to this dosa. As safe as it may seem, one bite will unleash a fury of India's most fiery chilies, a hydrogen bomb for your palate. The crunchiness of the outer layer balances everything together and provides much needed, satisfying, delicious relief. In many places, white bread may just be seen as empty carbs. But in India, it's transformed into a potentially deadly yet heavenly treat. Picture this, deep fried bread torn apart, generously soaked in a spicy curry and topped with a succulent deep fried chicken leg. This is the kind of delicious danger you'll encounter in Chennai. <laughs> Meet Pori Cha Parota, famously known as the flaky ribbon pancake. This unleavened flatbread made from maida, an Indian white flour, boasts a unique texture, perfect for sopping up rich curries. Its roots trace back to Jaffna, Sri Lanka, before spreading across the Indian subcontinent. To start, fry up numerous pre-made parota dough discs in hot oil until they turn golden crispy. Hand smash them to eliminate air pockets, maximizing the surface area for soaking up flavorful liquids. Next comes a few scoops of mutton curry, followed by a country chicken curry on top. The texture is a combination of flaky edges combined with a soft and moist center that soaks up the medley of flavors. The chicken is tender, yet juicy, and seasoned straight to the bone. It will teleport you to a different dimension. Our last stop lands us at a restaurant run by a serious cheese hunter. So cheesy. <laughs> This guy's cheese escapades have gone global, chasing the most outrageous cheese-loaded dishes worldwide. But just a warning, if you're lactose intolerant, you may just want to risk it all for this next dish. Get set for Chennai's cheesiest creation. 
I love cheese. So I wanted to try it in an overloaded way, cheese. So this melted cheese sauce uh, was made by us in-house using cheddar cheese and then mozzarella and uh, processed cheese. It's our own homemade ingredients we use. Every customer orders at least one item that have this cheese sauce. You cannot explain it. It's so cheesy and so yummy. Get ready to meet the Cheese Band Stacked Burger. This masterpiece was dreamt up by the owner, who was on a mission to find the cheesiest burger in the world. But nothing he found quite hit the mark, so he took matters into his own hands. Start by buttering up a circular form for the patties. Stuff it with aloo tiki balls, made from a mixture of potatoes and peas. Add more butter to the patties, then give them a flip. Top the patty with a slice of cheddar cheese, and then slather it with the restaurant's secret cheese sauce. Now, the build. Top the burger bun with caramelized onions, followed by our two potato patties. Squeeze another layer of mayo over the patties and close the burger with the top patty. Serve with fries on the side and a final glaze of secret cheese sauce. This burger is a cheese lover's dream come true. Buttery tiki, an oozy blend of cheeses, crisp lettuce and mayo team up for a mouth-watering, indulgent flavor fiesta. After exploring Chennai's top 5 most tempting, dangerous street foods, it's time to pick the one that will most likely replace my Jack Daniels addiction. Was it the spice-packed Otto, the decadent fish head curry, the flaming hot ghee podi dosa, the flaky poricha parota, or the indulgent, downright irresponsible cheese stack burger? Today, my favorite has to be the paricha parota, that flaky fried bread generously coated with flavorful curry and crowned with a giant fried chicken leg. It doesn't get any better than that. Now, which one of these would you pick to be your next obsession? Let us know your top pick downstairs in the comments below. And for more indulgent India street food videos, be sure to subscribe to Best Ever Food India. Thanks. Bye. Elevate your style with our brand new clothing collection. Rock out in our threads, feel the thrill of culinary adventures, and celebrate with us in style. Head on over to beffers.shop today.